Hey guys, it's Piney's Picks here, it's Kevin. Um, got something a little different. Found some of these uh, Panini Prism uh, Gravity Fed packs, four cards, two ninety nine dollars a pack. Um, I was in Target and they were just laying all over the, uh, the rack. They weren't actually in the Gravity Fed. So I'm assuming that some pack searcher went through and uh, probably weighed them or tried to figure out what was inside them. So I thought, well, let's see how good a job they did. Um, I got my little scale. Um, it's in uh, grams, so we should be able to determine what they are. So we're going to weigh each one of these and see, see what we get. Uh, 17.6. I think, is that going to be average? What's, oh no, there's a, let's hold on, let's see, 14.2. This one seems really heavy then. 17.5, so that's the heaviest one. 14.2 is the lowest so far. 16, that's a heavy one too. Well, maybe these weren't patch, pack certs. There's a 16... Or maybe this one's just light a card, who knows? We'll see what the average is. No, there's another light one, 14.2, uh, 16, 14.3, 14.2, so I think we're starting to see that 14 is the standard, 14.1, and 14.2. So out of 11 packs, we had one, two, six, seven that were 14, two, three, 14, one. We had three that were in the 16s, and then we had one pack that was really heavy. So we'll go ahead and open them in the order. Um, let me get the camera adjusted a little better so you can see what it is I'm opening. So you can see all the packs, 17, 16, and 14. So we'll start with the 14s. We don't need to weigh it anymore, so we'll get that out of the way, and we'll see what we get. So here we go. So I'm assuming on all of the 14s will be just straight four base cards, nothing special. So Jack Doyle, Emo Benjamin, Anthony Barr, and Ramsey. So that's what I kind of expected was just four regular cards. Um, sometimes the security thing will throw it off too. So that might be, that might account for one of those two as well. There's a rookie, Christian McCaffrey and Russell Wilson. Wow, Ricky Williams. Is this 1999 again? What are we doing, Panini? Jake Lutton, Preston Smith, and DJ Moore. Jamal Adams, Gabriel Davis, Aaron Jones, DeAndre Hopkins. So far, it's exactly what I thought. We have got nothing but base. There's James White. There's a Tua rookie. That's one of the better rookies. If he would have been a little bit more successful this year, he probably would have been one of the, one of the top ones. There's Fuller. Chenault Jr. Never heard of this guy. Jacksonville rookie, Kirk, and Smith. So last pack of nothing but base. So what do you think, what do you think it is that's making them 16? Do you think it's an insert or do you think it's got a security? There's Evans, Kittle, and Thomas. So I'm thinking the heaviest one has probably got a security tag in it. I'm hoping these are all ah there we go so kid reporter threw us off that's what it was so your 16 point somethings are kid reporters so sonny michelle galladay smith and 
another Aaron Rodgers. So we probably have the we have three of the kid reporters in there. So the 17 might be a kid reporter and a security tag. So there's Fells, Allen, Murray, and Culpepper. Maybe, maybe these pack searchers didn't know what they were doing and they knew they knew these weights. So, oh, we did get something in it though. Nick Chubbs and Mike Gesicki. I don't even know what that guy is. What is he? He's a receiver, wide receiver. Chris Carson and Goodwin. All right, so this is our heavy one. So we would like to think that this had an autograph or something in it. But, like I said, it has security and a kid reporter. So we got a Deshaun Watson. Oh, we got, that's nice, a Brian Edwards. I don't even know what that is. It's uh, the checker pattern here, prism. That one might be pretty sweet. And Jerry Rice and Davis. So the one we thought was super special had a little bit more than just the extra fluff in it. It did have one prism card, which I don't think the prisms have that much more weight than the base. So let's check that out. Check out my theory. Prism is 3.3 when I don't breathe on it. 3.3. A regular card is 3.3 as well. 3.4. Huh. I don't, that's weird. Let me weigh another rookie card and see what the rookie card gets. So 3.3. So the prism is no different. So than the regular rookie. Let's see if the uh, green prism gives you anything else. Uh, it's kind of going in between 3.3 three and 3.4. Three, so I think it's safe to say that you really can't, well, I guess you can. I guess there's a specific weight for everything. So if you really had enough and you bought enough of these and opened enough, then you would be able to determine what was what when you, uh, when you went through there. Personally, I don't think it's worth it. $2.99 a pack, just buy some packs and move on. You got their, these pack searchers and these guys that are high, hanging out, waiting for the distributors to show up. They're just ruining the hobby. Um, they're making it impossible for kids to get any cards. And if no kids get any cards, then the interest going forward is zero. And then your cards, when you want to sell them in 10, 15 years, there won't be any buyers. So you guys make up your own mind. Um, that's my personal opinion. These pack searchers and these uh, flippers are destroying uh, destroying this hobby. So, hope y'all enjoyed. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And we'll see if we can make some more videos like this. Thank you.